character. We may be three campaigns in, but there's still a whole lot more story to tell. Oh boy. Welcome back to Sonic Adventure. We're tackling Amy Rose's story today. And uh, oh, you'll see, Luke. You'll see. <laughs> I did know she's a girl. The game has been uh, enforcing that into my skull. That's about the um, most of her personality oh you're going to see today. Uh, upskirts <laughs> shot already. <laughs> Why? I just that's, Japan. I wish I didn't see that. Are you ready to hear this song every three seconds of your life? Heck yeah, dude. Are you kidding? Amy stages. We'll get it. I'll talk about it more when we reach him because, oh boy, they are different. It looks more like a. Uh, big exploration sort of level just reading the instructions to the levels so we'll see how this mm -hmm. goes you'll see she went shopping I've been every day <laughs> I bet this is going to be enforced. Oh, no. I miss the good old days of having my life in danger. Sweet, sweet. That's so sweet. It should be a good thing that it's peaceful now. Right? I'm a girl. I like shopping. <laughs> this is really dumb. I'm not really... I, I was way more optimistic to this. Than I should have been. <laughs> I think they say sweet, sweet star. <laughs> <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> oh no. The CG? <laughs> that is not good. Yes, yes, I know, Star. She is a children. Okay, she's only 12. I didn't realize that. I thought Which she was. They put way too many upskirt shots in this campaign for my liking. Makes it. Even less comfortable. Eggman, can it be? What's that? Whoa! <laughs> Look at her legs. <laughs> Is she okay? It's a flicky. I'd be more concerned about my legs. Right? She broke them. Other than the her theme song, get ready to hear this song every three seconds. Okay. This is zero. This robot's after her, dude. Just creep. I'm not a fan of those hands. That's what I said, Amy. He walks into an enclosed area with no way out. Beep beep, I am a robot. I am incapable of opening the door. You're okay, I guess if robots can't open doors even though they have hands. Um, oh yeah, the little flicky is pretty cute. Away, right? mm -hmm. Don't worry. Yeah, I know about the flickies from um from Sonic 3D Blast, which we mentioned in the previous arm. campaign. I'll stand by you all the way. Here we go. <laughs> all right. Amy can. It... <laughs> One thing you know about Amy is that her gameplay is a lot slower. <laughs> okay. But she's you can abuse good... her. You can abuse her hammer. Yeah, looks like she's got a pretty good forward air. Uh, hopefully, there's not too much landing lag on it. <laughs> I, I think I know about that star. Uh, is it uh, like a pretty old game where I don't remember much about it? But I think was it in Sonic Mega Collection? Hey, Amy, I saw Sonic. He went to the hotel. Because I remember, oh, I, I know about that. I think it's like an unlockable game from there. I think I heard about it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jeez, Amy. He did the bonk hammer effect. I peeked ahead on the footage and I saw that Star him, takes care of these pages real fast. So it must Please be because him. of that Thank hammer. <laughs> Good. Oh no. Good. Mr. Know-it-all. He won't know anything when he's dead. Yeah, that makes sense, Star. That makes sense. Because, yeah, if you just run around, you can't. It's awful. Especially coming from the previous three campaigns, the, your mobility gets really limited. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even Tails, he had his flight 
<laughs> There's the scream she does every time she hits someone. Uh oh, please tell me the casino isn't the first level here. Oh, Sonic. <laughs> she looked at the camera. Oh <laughs> no. So, Nick. She sure is stark. <laughs> My problem is the really loud rock music in the way. Right, you can barely hear anything they say. I got this flicky I have in a chokehold. <laughs> Girls are child. Small. I mean, he is 15, but still. Girls have cooties, Luke. She has a pretty high jump, though. Is that, that is like a crazy high jump. jump? Jump or something? If you don't use that jump, she is miserable to play as. <laughs> yeah, looks like it. You're inadvertently showing me. Because if you mess up the timing, she stops to whack the hammer, too, so it can really mess with you. Anik, hello? <laughs> the bag of bolts. <laughs> no problem. Huh? Here comes her theme song for the <laughs> third time. They paid more than tails. Again, that's pretty rude. Mm hmm. I know, Sonic. Uh, <laughs> this is... Yeah. I think you are right. I think that's what it is saying. Now for the first stage. Zero is going to be persistently chasing Amy through the entire level. Oh, so it's like a green demon in Mario, right? Mm -hmm. You cannot kill him. You can stun him, he will chase you in water. Mm -hmm. um, there's some segments where they want you to be stealthy, but there's no point, dude. Mm -hmm. You just gotta keep moving. Yeah. They try to scare you sometimes, too. He, like, bursts out of walls and stuff. Okay, and we'll see how this goes. Yeah. At least we get to see, yeah, like oh I was about gosh. to say. Oh my gosh! We do not just kill the monkeys. This weird mirror part. I feel bad for the monkeys. Yeah, I don't yeah, remember yeah. this part from Sonic or any typical part. Mm -hmm. They got to see some new areas. Well, this is a glue thing that I remember you talking about. The camera angle here is is pretty yeah. funky. I made it through no problem. Up, but, uh, uh. I keep hitting the walls when I'm in that mirror room. Yeah, telling story through gameplay. I guess that makes sense. You're right, he does kind of just drop around like from everywhere. He was too busy having fun on the, the roller coaster. Uh oh. What are you doing, Zero? He's dumb, dude. That's funny, because I've seen sometimes where Zero's, like, really smart. Mm-hmm, who knows? I mean, it's an Probably. old game. Yeah. You know, not how the AI will work. I'm sure it's pretty inconsistent. The star's too good. He'll just... Zero just yeah. gets confused. Like, I'm sure he'll do just fine anyways. Nice Is that skip intentional? Oh, okay. Zero has no idea what to do. Oh, there's a balloon. And that's a wrap. So then how does she get captured by Zero? I mean, you see at the end of the level in Sonic's campaign. Right, so, and she gets carried away. What, what, where's the missing link here? I'm sure it's about to be explained, but... Welcome to Twinkle Park. No? Welcome to Twinkle oh, Park. Oh, no, because like, he made it here first without seeing Amy, so that makes sense. You want to play the minigame? All right, never mind. <laughs> 
Or finish. some date that Maybe. was. Three star. That bag of bolts. Uh oh. Is it another eclipse, Amy? Oh, no, it's just zero. <laughs> Wait, how did the how did the flicky show up? At, you saw that, right? Mm-hmm. It was there, and Amy wasn't, and then it was in front of Amy, and then Amy got captured. And then the flicky can fly the whole time. I do like that Zero went through the train station first. <laughs> She's in jail. Yeah, yeah, we're already at the egg carrier. Well, that makes sense. I mean... Now, now, calm down. I don't know why <laughs> they captured her in the first place, but... Why are her legs like that? There he is. I'm for Mr. some gamma Bar content. Gamma. Good job. I feel like this could probably be where his story starts. Mayhap. As someone who Why are your legs story. like that? I, uh, I, I love think you, you sort of hear it, like, just barely in Sonic's campaign, right? From what I remember. Yeah, we heard it in Knuckles for like 30 seconds. Oh, okay. Her legs are broken again, dude. Mm -hmm. I hope she can afford the medical bills. And over the chicken nugget. Is that Flicky still alive? Yeah. Wait, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Feelings, emotions. Mr. Robot. Saps her with a cannon. Oh no, activating hyper thrusters. <laughs> Illogical. Oh! What is love? <laughs> what is this cute little bird? Oh no, activating hyper mode. <laughs> uh, he just walks away. Bird is cute. Well, what? I have feelings too now. Hey, that's cool. That makes sense, because I think Amy mentioned something about how uh, Gamma was a friend, or that it, he helped her. Mm-hmm. He's not all bad. Take this. Thanks, Gamma. I'm not like the other robots. <laughs> Yay! Oh, and it just ends up properly. <laughs> now Amy's got to escape by playing a mini game. High score. It <laughs> doesn't get you. Oh my time. god! <laughs> get ready. <laughs> it changes so often, dude. This mini game makes me laugh. Oh. Do you like lose points if you hit Robotnik? That's right. That's what I had a feeling. You have more points for Supersonic. Good thing she has a hammer. I'd let you try as many times as you want. Not hard. I wonder the high score is. That's what I'm saying, Star. Good thing Amy had a hammer right. when locked up. There's an Eggman at pretty long limbs, though. <laughs> no, no way. way! I can't believe this. Not only does he let you go, but he gives you an upgrade. 
Hey, I want I, I don't know. You get the you get the war. <laughs> I didn't you even finish. The warrior feather. Now you can do the spin hammer attack. Press and hold the action button and move the direction. How nice of you, Eggman. Oh, okay. If you yeah, if you come back after the next stage, you can play again and get um an, an optional upgrade. Okay. You get the long hammer. Uh oh, this literally links spin attack from uh, mm -hmm. from four swords. Ready for a new stage? The hot shelter. I remember you commenting about it. Hot damn hot water hot shelter. If you're not star, this stage takes easily over 10 minutes. It is very long. <laughs> this is the one. No, don't hit the monkey. Please. Honestly, star, it's just... Oh, God. <laughs> you can make okay. her look really dumb when you're spinning the crank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see what you're talking about. I got some Resident Evil 1 jumps. No, poor monkey. Yeah, Amy with the speed shoes is no faster. Dude, these monkeys are dying. Work, Amy, work. <laughs> no, don't. She's twelve. This really could have been Final Egg Star. This is just more Eggman Factory. There's water. Dude. <laughs> I'm excited to see. This will be the fastest run of this level I've seen. They have a lot of parts that make you wait on purpose because they want mm -hmm. zero to come up. Oh, I see. It's not the most exciting. Yeah. Oh, there's... There he is. I imagine little kid's getting scared when he bursts through the wall. Yeah, dude. And you gotta push the stairs. Oh my gosh. Exciting gameplay. <laughs> oh, you can't like jump to the left and make it? Well, I guess she doesn't have a spin dash. I've seen people try. I've seen Zero fit into that little cubby. Oh yeah, there's monkeys in the toilet star. Don't disturb them. Monkey. There he goes. So far, so good though. Uh, okay, I see what you're talking about. He almost got you. There's a lot of twists and turns here, but Star knows the way. If I can get you, I'll get you. This reminds me of the uh, Rusty Bucket Bay level in uh, Banjo Kazooie when you're walking. I still the game really need to play that game, dude. That should be that could be something we do on the channel. Honestly, yeah. I've heard about it, known about it, almost all my life, but I never had the chance to play it. I have an actual physical copy of it because, yeah, we actually have an nice. N64 still, so that's nice. Yeah, I started with GameCube, so I missed out. Although I'm not usually huge on the big collectathons and stuff, it's... Yes, yeah, yeah you probably uh, a failed spiritual successor. Definitely, it didn't get nearly as much acclaim as Banjo did, and then they made they just went for two D with the sequel. I haven't heard good things about it. That's all I know. I really don't know that much about it, other than that. I never had the itch to play it because I didn't grow up with Banjo, and like I, I love three D platformers, but I heard Ukulele was okay. And then the sequel, The Impossible Lair, it's it's all right. It, it doesn't look bad. It has pretty decent reviews, but um, I don't know. I'd rather just play Donkey Kong Country or something. Same with what Mighty Number no. Nine. Oh God, Mighty Number no. Nine. Those are the two like Kickstarters that were not well received. Isn't there like a Wii U port or something that they promised like six years ago that still hasn't happened? Hmm. <laughs> There's no reason for it to happen at this point. You ever seen the commercials for Mighty Number no. 9, Luke? No, and I really <laughs> think I probably should it. Oh, wow. Make you cry like, like an anime <laughs> fan on prom night. They make yeah. the worst comparisons. <laughs> yeah, they're zero scary. 
Wait, was that an actual line in the commercial? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Like an anime Dude. fan on prom night. Uh, I love that was just oh. one of your three jokes. The marketing blood in me, dude, was 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 crying. Happy with it. <laughs> oh yeah, really exciting gameplay here, by the way. You got to collect four boxes that are not even hidden or anything. <laughs> They're just like right here. <laughs> not really. <laughs> While well, Zero has an aneurysm in the background. What are you doing? Chill. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, For 2D platformers, the next one I want to try is um, a hat in time. Okay, yeah, I haven't played that before. Had some good reception there, and uh, heard lots of good things. People really enjoyed it. I remember seeing the red one over here somewhere, or orange, I guess. Oh, there he um, is. Hey. Nice. I know these levels seem like more of a hassle than anything. Yeah. First timers have it like, it takes way longer to get through these, dude. Oh, there's the end. Don't hurt the monkeys. <laughs> no. <laughs> you bombed them. Done and done. No. I don't care if they're robots. They're monkey. I don't remember if Had in Time was supposed to get a sequel. I think it got DLC. But you know what does need to get a sequel? This campaign in the next oh, part will you still have the shit watching this. Thanks for watching. Time to go to the promised land.